If you're not using this Dunder method, then you're not using data classes to their full potential in Python. Suppose you have a data class called name that takes a first and a last name, both of type string. Next, suppose you want to compute a value based on those two previous values. Unfortunately, we can't just use them immediately. It will not work. What we have to do instead is tell Python that this is a field and that we will initialize it later by setting init to false. Now the juicy part comes in. Here we're going to define a dunder post init method, which is just the post initializer. With this dunder method, we have the opportunity to actually initialize fields that haven't been initialized just yet. So now if we want to create a person named risotto, we can do that. And we do not need to provide the full name because post init is going to take care of that. And we can verify all of this by printing the full name. As you can see, we get the full name back. 